Welcome back, everyone, to the Meta HSC Rocket League Tournament, Week 5, once again. My name's Chris, that's Gex, and we're getting pretty much un straight on the way here for our next game of the series. It will be Golunga taking on SMC, and well, we know how good Golunga are, but let's see how well can SMC play up against the current second-best team in the SANT region. Yeah, second best by only one game, but it is against the top team as well, so they they have had a tough time on their hands here. Uh, there, sorry. Um, let's see how they go here. Should be an okay match for them. That's a good shot straight off the bat. Riv Riven Ravinio, I should say. Uh, Julesy, just going to get a good clear here as well. A lot of attack coming out straight away from Glenunga, though. Yeah, not... To be expect not to be surprised though from Glenunga, they do lock down the attack and oh. Ravino, we do know he likes his opening goals. He once again picks it up here and Al's just well set up there by Faisal Loves. Just play patiently there in the F1 car, spotting the Red Bull Rivley like a true man of culture, sets it up for Ravino and he just needs to tap it in, says thank you very much, and the first goal goes to Glenunga. Yeah, absolutely. Hammered away off of a passing play. It's nice to see the passing plays come out here as well. Something that some of these high school teams can struggle with a little bit at times, finding those passes and getting them on target. Seems like Anunga's got it handled well. There's another pass across, across but R Ravinio is not quite ready for that one. Julesy going to leave that for True Blue now as it comes across to the orange side. A good demo there, actually. Looking like SMC may actually have some good team play behind them here as well. Yeah, the might as Zephyr just taps it up here. Ravino goes up for the play, but Jusley should be able to take the ball away, but he doesn't take it away from his own half here. That's just going to open up for Zephyr, but Blue Scout comes through, forces the issue, and uh, will just punt it out. Could have been a counter attack, but Ravino, he'll be able to bump on the player in the midfield there, being true blue. So, good stuff there from Ravino to nip that play in the butt. He merely takes it straight back onto attack here. Julesy, once again, just gets bumped off from a true clear, but he's still able to have a play here. Oh. That's actually well on target, and there was no one home to defend it. Julesy, nice goal there. He gets the equalizer. And a beautiful little bait up here as well. Uh, just left that ball to hang for just a moment, and actually pulled, I think it was Ravinio, up there. And yep. uh, despite the experience on stream of Riv, he's going to get absolutely baited out there. And that goal opens up for Julesy. What a shot to make it happen. Yeah, glorious shot there. But will there be an immediate response here from oh. Golunga? Yes, it is. And look who it is. Ravino doing it once again. And this time he just wasn't challenged. Look at that. Triple commit effectively from the side of SMC. And yeah, that just opened it up perfectly for Ravino to get that goal. Yeah, Ravino really showing off his experience there. He's already got five shots on the board two goals out of it so he's definitely able to convert these as well but i just say smc is standing up fairly well right now blue scout gonna be able to pop that one oh, was that's chased by true blue but riv just gonna come up for that so well struck nicely and another goal for him just read the play perfectly there blue blue scout just tries to set up with true blue and while well, ravina just steals it away from him so yeah perfect heads up play there from well, yeah, leader of this Glenunga side, and well, pre one up, he's got an all free conversion so far. Yeah, he's on a bit of a tear here. So is the rest of his team here, setting up a fair few glorious shots as well. While their opponents, they just can't keep up with the second best team in the SANT region at the moment. As is this going to be the fourth oh. unanswered? Nearly, but uh, Ravino unable to make it four for four. Yeah, the uh, opponents definitely have the respect they should for Riv, though. They are able to actually stay back and defend against that well. Julesy in goal here won't have any problem defending that one away either as it now comes back to that backboard. Rivers up. It's going to be Fisa loves under it now. He's going to let it go to Ravinio. A good flick will find a fourth one and Ravinio is all there is to talk about so far. All of the shots, all of the goals coming out of uh, Glenunga have been from this man. Yeah, you can't stop him at the moment as he picked up his fourth and there's only 2 minutes 12 remaining here so for SMC this could be at the curtains for the first game in this series. Especially if Ravino can find one more, make it a fifer. 
but he won't be able to do it for the moment. He has. He just leaves it to Fazel. Oh. He gets demoed, but it doesn't matter. Ball's on target. That goes in 5-1. to one. Glenunga. And finally, there is another member of Glenunga on board as well. Pfizer struck this well. Just got enough height to get over that last defender. Taken out in the process, but he will take the goal. That's a 5-1. Glenunga well out in head, ahead right now. And i got to say that um, even in my short experience here, that SMC doesn't look to be a terrible team here by any means. They're just getting overwhelmed right now by Glenunga and particularly Ravinia. Yeah, they're just really struggling to keep him and Pfizer in, in check here. Zephyr's been playing well as well, but he's effectively playing third man here and well, he's just utilizing his teammates to keep fighting goals and well, there's the fifth, there's the five fifth for Ravino. And well, yeah. One track for Brazil, but apart from that, this game, all but done and dusted. And uh, like you said, Zephyr are really playing his uh, role on field well, and that's uh, that's a tough thing to accept in the early days of Rocket League, is that sometimes the low-scoring players do have a big uh, impact on the game. Uh, Zephyr has been the backup man, that third position filled very well by him throughout the game and oh, oh almost yes. takes a brilliant backboard shot on his own as well he's got the mechanics behind him clearly yeah he knows how to play rocket league but just today oh, he close. has to play back as Ravino he sends up his sixth and well there is that Brazil there for the side of Glenunga SMC just unable to contain him at Ravino at the moment he's just being fed goals left right and center and well what else can you say? It's just turning into absolute domination here from the side of Glenunga International High. That one looked like it might have actually been a communication error there. It looked like True Blue was in goal and probably ready for it, and Julesy's called that he had it. Um, unfortunately, did manage to get the touch, but just couldn't quite get the angle out of goal and uh, sends it in the opposite side. So, uh, yeah, communication issues possibly there, and, um, you know, this is just a thing that has to be worked on over time that uh, sometimes the less risky play despite the uh, ending margin might be the one to go for nearly another goal there but the Brazil has come out so far yeah pretty much as well seven goals now for Ravino <laughs> and well okay, the Brazil tries they might. <laughs> yeah this is just as I said earlier this is just domination yeah I think I'll say this a few times every stream here at Meta, but this is just a class above here as Ravino just continues to dominate here. You can just see how well Versi is compared to his opponents in the game, and well, they're trying well, but unfortunately for them, this is just turning into an absolutely competitive mismatch. I mean, watching this now, Ravinio, you might think we're talking about him a lot, but particularly in a high school series like this, he's somebody to learn from, and, uh, you know, it's it's important to be able to accept that a player this good is somebody that you need to be able to watch and gain as much out of as possible. Um, uh, there's definitely teams in this competition who could take these guys oh, on, but nearly, <laughs> nearly a final goal oh. to take with them, but the first game... A huge, huge fashion for uh, Glenunga here. A thousand points. Like, mm. what else can you say? A thousand points. And while well, SMC combined, they only barely make 700. This this is just tr a truly dominant performance there from Glenunga, especially from Ravina, who actually had one assist. Or he only had uh, four assisted goals. Three of them came from his own hand. So, yeah, what else can you say? That was just... Great stuff from Ravino. Fazel as well, doing well to set him up, and then Zephyr just playing in the midfield, just making sure that the ball never really threatened their own line, and yeah, that was just a great display there from Glenunga. Yeah, and uh, judging by the ch chat, Julesy seems to be actually the one uh, there that is the most threatened by Glenunga, um, uh, really asking what they should be doing here, and uh, that's a fair question, but uh, Julesy actually the number one player so far for SMC as well. So, uh, you know, it, when the when the top player is that worried, you you really have to acknowledge that there's a single player here who is a, a huge step above. Uh, and he does come in with that season 14 grand champion tag as well. So uh, the grand yeah. champ uh, rank is uh, huge in a competition like this. Yeah, it just puts you at a completely different skill level too. Well, about 70% really of the... Uh of the field so yeah it's a 
huge benefit to have, then, well, Swank and Unger are one of the best teams in the SANT region, Ooh. especially when Ravina just does stuff like that. That is just an impressive way to kick it off. And once again, he just does it all by himself. Yeah, and uh, straight away, too, only eight seconds into the match. Uh, 4.42 left on clock. The first goal will go in. Ravinio already over 100 points into this match. One shot, one goal. Let's see if he can keep up the uh, shooting percentage this time. Going to come down fields. Zephyra gets that in front of goal, nearly finishes it. Great little save there from Julesy. Pfizer going to put this back in front of goal, but True Blue this time the one to chase this out. It's going to be a challenge here for SMC to not turtle back into defense, to be able to really rotate out here well and uh, chase this up. Right here, Julesy coming up fairly well here, but fairly. just that little bit of uh, hesitation does let uh, Glenunga push up field with no real threat to stop them here. Zephyra is the man to score, though, this time around, and actually equal Ravinio for the first time. Yeah, gets his first goal for the series here, Zephyr, and, well, after not being able to convert at that last second, being cruelly denied by the uh, sidebar, be more than happy to pick up a goal to break his duck, but, yeah, for SMC, it's just, just probably turning into a bit of a, just an experience in how to deal with players that are more highly skilled than you here. I mean, when, you just need to try and not just continue the result to turtling, as you said, Gex, you just need to try and push out, just try your best to keep the mood positive and to really just try and create some sort of opportunity. So, they're trying to do that here in the second game. The ball is in the attacking corner, but eventually they will be forced to reset here. Julesy just going to have to try and clear it out, but Faisal just gives him a tap from behind and puts the ball into the attacking corner here for Zephyr and Ravino. Ravino just waits for the opportunity. He's just taking his time, but Julesy able to fight him off there from the ball, so... Yeah, there are a few positives here for SMC, and that's something they should be focusing on here. Yeah, uh, particularly their ability to maintain control. Just a moment ago, Julesy demonstrated that well, even when it came back into his own half. Ravinio, a huge dunk there on Julesy. In goal, going to take another one, 3-0 now for Wanunga High School. They really are coming out extremely strong. Kind of makes you wish that this was a best of five rather than a best of three. But uh, it is what it is, and uh, you know what? It, even in the higher ranking tournaments, even even the top class, you see teams that have slightly less experience, and they're always the ones that improve the fastest. They can learn yeah. the most from that match, and uh, that's where you have to kind of accept sometimes that that's what you're going to have to do. SMC it seems to be doing that well here. They are adapting, and you can see them getting better throughout this. However, Glenunga, just a huge domination here. It is overwhelming for them as Ravinio takes yet another one. Yeah, the great champion just continues to pile on the uh, pain here. Floyd of opponents, but yeah, SMC, they are playing fairly well from all things considered in game two. They are showing some pretty good defensive efforts at times. They're pushing the ball out as well, but that kickoff just wants to give gives Ravino his fourth goal yet again. And, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, as you said, bottom teams, they can learn quickly because, well, they've got so much to improve. And that's why they can also be so lethal at the end of seasons because once they've improved, not, some people may just discount them, especially in weeks 9 or 10, and, well, they discount them to their own peril and they just get upset by them. So, yeah, for SMC, they are definitely playing the long game here in the season as Arena, once again, he gets another 5 for up. We're not even at the halfway point of this second game. Is that a uh, sub in there? Two, three, four coming in uh, for SMC now as well. Uh, can get stuck in the back of goal as that one got fired in with some speed. And um, there's another oh, shot, a huge one away. Ravinio capitalized can so it? quickly on that. Who can stop this man? This He's just popping off. I mean, six goals this game, Se seven last. It's just... Oh god, mm. this is just absolute domination at the moment. Another way of putting it. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, they, they, I mean, not much could be done about that one. But uh, previous goals, I think what SMC needs to be focusing on is just giving less room here. I mean, the the fear can hold you back when you know that you're up against somebody like Ravinio. But if you give them less space, they don't have the time to f 
uh, think and come up with something that's going to trick you as well. They maybe can't find the power that they would have with a bit more time. It, you know, just being on top of them, and even if you can't get to something, going for it and making the opponents think that you can has a huge effect on the game. In that they just. Yeah, well, I mean, I just don't really have anything else. That's how you just hit the nail on the head there. Gex has. Julesy, he might have a chance here for score a goal. Ooh. He does get blocked off by Fazolo. He does send it high, and Zephyr will clear it out into the corner here. Man with many numbers will just go against the play. He leaves it to Julesy, but he loses control. Fazel sets it up for Zephyr, but Julesy is able to clear it out of danger here, so he puts it into the corner, but Ravina is lying in wait here. He gets the first touch. He has been bumped, but it doesn't matter. Oh. He just uses the, the sidebar to his advantage, and yep, eight goals, nine to nothing. <laughs> Uh, Ravinio is all I've got to say. <laughs> Ravinio is treating this like free play. <laughs> He's just having fun with this. He's like, yeah, I'll take it to the backboard. That'll be about a touch. Yeah, yep, done. Cool. Uh, puts it away very nicely. And uh, you know what? This is. I mean, there's nothing more to say than this is over. I mean, SMC doesn't have an answer for this. They're just going to have to try and look for one goal. And Julesy is the one who could possibly make it happen. He's getting the stuff so fast. This is the opportunity now. True Blue has to get there. There's the center. Nobody there for it. Julesy came up from the back ranks for it, but there's not a chance uh, to make that in time from the positioning he had. Not that there was anything wrong with uh, that defensive positioning, but unfortunate. Way to lose out on that one, Julesy. Gonna send that wide of the goal now as Zephyr takes it back and uh, they look for one more once again with a minute left on clock. Yeah, a minute on the clock now here. And well, looks like they just might be playing for time now here. Ravino trying to set something up, but Julesy seals the ball away. That is on target, but Zephyr in a position to clear out the danger. He's gonna follow up, and I believe it was a very slight touch there. Maybe not, no, no save given up there by the game, so just off target for that attempt here as Ravino once again looks for the wall and he's going to try and set something up here will he finish it off Zephyr nearly does so but he blocks off his teammates and he will deny nine goals for Ravino here so 25 seconds remaining time continues to stick away here this game and series all but done and dusted as Ravino sends a long booming attempt in that is in there's an iron there's a 10 for double digits here for Glenunga and well, what else can you say, Gex? Absolute and pure domination. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, massive. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Ravinio just playing with his toys right now and uh, they've taken this in even bigger fashion the second time around. I do think that um, SMC were taking this as a learning opportunity from about the fourth goal of this game. Uh, uh, particularly, I think they've brought in 2-3-4 for, um, for that uh, learning Practice, opportunity yeah. as well, yeah. Um, oh, 10 for Ravino? 10 for Ravino! Oh, oh my That's god! 10th goal in a single game, 12 shots. Absolutely massive and... Uh, Glenunga with one second left. Looks like they'll be taking us home as an 11-0 game. Uh, Zephyr stepping up with a goal there and a few shots. Vicer did get one last game. Not going to come through with a goal this time, but uh, all members really performing very well there. Uh, I have to really give uh, credit there to um, uh, Julesy for just not really giving up. Like he, he pushed forward for the entirety of that. And while I would love to... Uh, give him the MVP award. I, you know, I, don't, I think it's fairly clear who's going to have earned yeah. it. Here. I mean, 17 goals throughout the series, one assist as well to boot. It has to be Ravino. There's literally no other way of putting it here. I mean, now it's just pure domination. As we've continually said, like, this is just... You can't really say anything else. Like, Lenunga was just that class above, especially with GC on board. And, well, it showed there. And, well, Ravino, he's had an absolute day out. And, well, yeah, that's uh, that's all that happens here. At uh, We get in, and we'll go to a break. We'll be back with our final game of the night in another 35 minutes. We'll be from WA. We'll be Colby taking on Great Summer Grammar. So, come back in 35 minutes, and we'll have that final game of the night for you there.